Hey, what's going on everybody? Today's episode, we're gonna be talking about your career and finding passion in what you do. Now we have a special guest, Luba, who has her own YouTube channel, creating videos on software engineering as well as life in Silicon Valley. I found her through her videos on Airbnb, how she became a software engineer, and today she's gonna to be sharing a little bit more of her story. And after that, I'm gonna be answering some of your guys' questions, so take it away, Luba. Too much. Too much. Hi everyone. My name is Luba and for the past three years I was a software engineer at Airbnb and most recently I made a transition to be a chief of staff to director of engineering, meaning that I work on more business, operations and strategy things. Um, I also have my own YouTube channel called Life of Luba where I talk about tech and life in Silicon Valley. But here today I wanted to talk about, you know, taking your career in your own hands and figuring out what is it really that you want to do and what you're interested in. I have an interesting story, I, or I think that my story is interesting. I um, studied chemical engineering in University of Waterloo in Canada and then you know, two years into studying that and then having had two internships as a chemical engineer, I realized that I didn't quite see myself working as a chemical engineer full time. And I think it's extremely important, especially, for, um, if you're, especially if you're in college, to really reflect and think about what is it that you want to learn? What is it that you want to do? What is it that you're excited about? I definitely think that passion can come through work, but to find the passion that can come through work, you actually have to do work and to try different things. So for me, I tried chemical engineering. I didn't quite like it. And then I got exposed to tech and I was super excited about it. And then I learned to code on my own, uh, got an internship in Silicon Valley, working at Yelp as an Android engineer. And that's kind of how my transition to software engineering started. And then four years ago, I also interned at Airbnb and that kind of forced and that kind of forged my path to work at Airbnb full time. And then now, you know, I realized that I was very excited to learn about how businesses really run, how decisions are being made, how to really strategize about how to make those decisions. And I forged a path for myself to be in a different role, to really get exposed to those opportunities uh, working with senior leaders in the company. And you know, I mentioned that I also have my own YouTube channel, Life of Luba. And the reason I have the YouTube channel is because I think sharing stories and inspiring through stories, someone in the world, like even if I inspired one person, that is already a huge accomplishment. I'm an immigrant, I come from Belarus originally, I went all the way to Canada, I studied chemical engineering, then I made tr a transition into software engineering, moved to the US. I feel like I can share, and I've been sharing a lot of advice around how to do the same thing, and my audience, thankfully, has found it valuable and that really inspires me to keep going and sharing my story because I do feel that by sharing, we can inspire someone else to potentially do the same thing or uh, maybe come up with a different solution through hearing your or my own story. And I have a lot of fun running my YouTube business, my YouTube channel, and um, I am driven to do it in my free time because one, I think it's fun, I think it's important to do things that you enjoy, two, as I said, I like um, inspiring people. I hope that my story is useful. Three, um, I just really like the media space. I like being on camera. I guess that kind of goes to the point one that I think it's fun. Um, and I guess four, I think it's really cool to build a personal brand these days, to really be known to, a, to build that big community and audience. And it's been opening me opportunities and doors that I wouldn't have imagined be there otherwise. So I'm really enjoying that. And um, yeah, if you can, uh, please check out my channel too. Hopefully you find it useful and interesting. And yeah, thanks so much, Caleb, for having me on your channel. I hope you guys find uh, my story interesting and inspiring too. You can tell them I'm under the weather. Uh, Caleb has a man cold. <laughs> It's true. Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Aaron Curry. And I'm Caleb, what's up? He might not be talking a lot today because he is feeling a little bit under the weather. <laughs> he has a man cold. Technically we're all under the weather. So now that we have that insight from Luba, we are going to just dive in and answer some of your guys' questions and look at some comments and just kind of talk about that. 
Yes, thank you, Luba. That was awesome. I agree with pretty much everything you said on finding your passion and your career, how that comes from work. And I think your story is really awesome. And I love your videos. Are you fangirling? I'm a little fangirling, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to expand on some of the things she said by addressing some questions that are on a very similar topic. So this comment is from Alex. He says he wants to know more about Caleb's work and college experience and what made him start making videos. Videos. <laughs> I uh, changed my passion numerous times. My interests are always changing. I started in something completely not even tech related. Ended up getting a web development position. That was fun, but it was also like, holy crap, I have no idea what I'm doing. But that encouraged me to go into computer science school with a little nudge from her. My big encouragement to do the YouTube videos was basically a way for me to study stuff as well as share that knowledge with all of you guys. I found a gap in the market on database design, started creating videos because personally I thought the topic was very confusing. And it was a way for me to kind of build my personal branding and get interested in technology. That slowly shifted into a more of a business and marketing oriented interest. So I got a role in marketing for social media as well as influencer outreach and some technical speaking. So it was kind of like this technical marketing role. And then that shifted into just like back to where I was with full-time software development. And then now I'm doing YouTube full-time. So you would say that your passions have kind of kind of changed as your career went through, you know, just starting out to going through college to graduating to after graduating. Yeah. And I was kind of in that situation. You know how everyone these days goes to college and they're undecided for like seven years and they switch majors for like their whole life. I was really tempted to... <laughs> I feel like that's me. <laughs> like, I feel like that's me so much. I was very tempted to do that, but with computer science, I told myself, I know deep down I'm interested in this, even if I have other interests. So I'm going to finish this one, whether I want to or not. <laughs> and maybe that was a bad decision, but I knew I needed to get out in the career force and be done with that stage and have that degree done with. So this next one is more of a comment, but... It it, I think it was just really encouraging, so I just wanted to share this as well. This is from Cyber Prepper. Hi, Caleb and Aaron. Thanks for sharing your story. So many times, these types of mismatched job situations can cause a huge hit to confidence and self-esteem when they are over. And this is commenting from last week's video about Caleb losing his job and all that. So if you don't really know what he's talking about, go watch that one. But he also says, I'm glad you are showing that you just have to move on and keep trying. So don't give up if you, like, your passions change or, you know, something happens. I think very few people learn something for their entire life and at some point don't get tired of it. I, mean, I think everybody changes what they want to do. I think it's so normal. Um, I think most of us are afraid to fail. I've learned that failure happens, and it's okay, and you just have to move on. I'm glad you're demonstrating that. Thanks. Wow, babe, that was really insightful. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just not with it today. Yeah, I, I made this quote one time. Made it up myself. It was like, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. I thought of that. Did you really? Get your coffee out of my face. Uh, plastic straw. Uh. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta put on my Burt's Bees chapstick. You need a scrunchie too. Camillo, Camilo, Camilo, Camilo. I, he says, I would like to see more on how to encourage new beginner developers into choosing the right direction for achieving the best possible development in their career. And so forth. So, <laughs> that leads on to the recommended resource for the week, which is actually a book. So if you're struggling with the whole idea... But no, I didn't even get to my point. No, I'm sorry. It was... It's, it's never too late. Oh, okay. You interrupted me. I was confused. It's okay, babe. It's okay. <laughs> okay, it's never too late. Go on. It's never too late to change your career. Okay, I'm done. That's all you gotta say? Yes. 
That's what he said. I thought it was nice. Yeah, I mean, you definitely <laughs> want to, you know, prep and make sure that career change is fit within within your life appropriately, but it's never You don't want to jump into something yeah. that's obviously a little over yeah, the It's going to make but... your finances go to trash or make your life miserable. You like don't want to do that. Like making soap. Making soap. Well, I'm not making soap. <laughs> Just kidding. Aaron's making soap. <laughs> Hashtag buy my soap. Okay, continue with your resource. Ouch. I'm sorry. Careful. I feel like beating you up today. You might break your hand on these massive guns. Recommended resource is so good, they can't ignore you. It's a book by Cal Newport, PhD in computer science professor. Highly recommended if you are in computer science, but the book is actually not about computer science. It touches on some of that stuff, so it's kind of interesting, but this is about career and skill development and passion. So if you're struggling on finding what you're good at versus finding what you're passionate about and so forth, you've got to read this book because it talks about how if you want to become passionate about something, you need to work to get good at it and then you become passionate about it. And a lot of people think about it the other way around where they search around forever trying to find their magical career or their magical job that they're passionate about and they're not developing the skills that make that happen. We took a, a long road trip and I listened to the whole thing on audiobook. So if you need a crash course, that's what I would recommend. And I think Luba even touched on this saying how she believes you can find passion by working in things. But in order to do that, you have to do the work. So start working in things and you will begin to find what you're interested in. So we'll leave a link to that in the description. So the only other thing I wanted to share is with the business update, we decided we are going to hire someone for a certain number of hours a week. And this upcoming week, we are going, well, at least I am, going to be interviewing someone who sold their software company to a Fortune 500 company for a decent sum, but we're not going to get <laughs> into the numbers. Uh, and that's going to be all about how to build a company in a way that you can sell it and how to find passion in that because he actually went on to find two other companies. He searched and he found them. So that'll be fun and I'm excited to release that. That might not be this upcoming week, but probably the week after, just so we have time to work through those files and edit and so forth. So that's all we got for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. We actually have the topic picked. And just saying, you guys did fabulous last week, leaving comments. I was so proud of you guys. It was like fantastic. So please leave more comments. This upcoming Tuesday, we are going to be talking about... Should, what it? should you go to college go for to college? computer science or other topics? Yep. And yeah, that's... It's going off of a very... <laughs> popular and uh, debatable video that Kayla posted, which was called... Something like Don't Study Computer Science yeah, or Why You Shouldn't. Yeah, I think shouldn't. that's what it was. Um, but we're going to be talking about that because I think a lot of people took it the wrong way. Yeah, and... because I studied computer science. I think maybe I framed the video wrong, but... I... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redeem myself in this yeah, upcoming episode. It, it really uh, flustered a lot of people. So we're going to kind of go back to that video and talk about that. So if you have you guys have questions about anything college related, com going to college for computer science and whatnot. And I don't know if it's a language thing, but college, university, same thing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, leave comments, questions, that kind of thing for next week's video. Yep, and sorry I sounded like this the whole time. I, just, I, don't, <laughs> I don't feel too great. He's gonna go take a nap while I edit this. <laughs> no, I got I got a MongoDB course to finish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs> Thank and you. And subscribe. <laughs> and also, let me know who else we should try to get on this show on this channel. And then spam them on Twitter. Yeah, go let them know. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. If there is one thing you guys want to do to help out this channel, it's to hit that subscribe button. For the upcoming video, you need to answer the question, what experience have you had with computer science school or any other school related stuff? Is it worth your time and money? Did it pay off in the long run? That's what we're gonna be talking about next week if everything goes well, and we'll see you then. Thank you and peace out, yeah. yeah no. <laughs> 
and send us lots of cash. <laughs>